place accumulator races on. Sparkling Flame just eased for a stride or two and Celtic Crystal has dropped anchor about six lengths off. Golden Grove. Plan A is just to get this one to relax. Tell my fortune, though, is going to challenge for the lead, and that's going to stir up Golden Grove for a stride or two. Behind the drill, 1,600 to go, and Tell my fortune and Diego de Gavea taking the bull by the horns a length and a half. Golden Grove looking to settle into a rhythm in second. Top 10 at the paint. Sparkling Flame, the red headgear, three lengths off the leader. Celtic Crystal and Luck of the Iris, they the last two but only five lengths in it tell my fortune sweeping past the 1400 meter area golden grove is right there in second a length and a tail behind top 10 is third sparkling flame is fourth luck of the iris in fifth sixth and last celtic crystal in front and leading by a length and a half tell my fortune gonna try and go from barrier to box gun to tape back in second golden grove no change in the running order Top 10, Sparkling Flame, being kept awake, on her toes on the right-hand side. She knows that Tell My Fortune and Golden Grove are going to try and skip coming towards the 700-meter marker. Luck of the Iris in the pink and black to the inside, and Celtic Crystal watches all. At the 600, Tell My Fortune being there throughout. Homeward bound with 500 to go. Golden Grove gets some encouragement in second. Top 10, Sparkling Flame still on the bridle at this stage. 400 to go tell my fortune golden grove to the inside sparkling flame they're now going to start going through the gears at the 300 golden grove though comes to tackle the 200 meter marker tell my fortune's trying to fight on sparkling flames flat to the boards tell my fortune and golden grove there's nothing in it eyeball to eyeball it's going to be a cliffhanger golden grove and rachel benneker again then came tell my fortune top 10 and behind these runners and sparkling flame as they go past the line the hits keep coming for rachel benica number two golden grove michael roberts for the crows chubbs dobbins hampsons o'sullivans and rachel benica the hits just keep coming Tell My Fortune try to lead them a merry dance, but Golden Grove came on late, put on the pressure, and takes home the full prize. Top 10. Now, Sparkling Flame was cantering and they turned for home and then just got caught flat-footed and when asked to run, took her time. There you see Sparkling Flame came out and at this stage, Tell My Fortune and Golden Grove. Golden Grove was the first to come under some sort of pressure at the top of the lane and the more Rachel Venica asks of this ideal world, the more she gives. Bred by the Summer Hill Stud, well done to the Michael Roberts team, this ideal world, Golden Grove, a plan comes together today. Well, that was a thrilling finish. And I have absolutely no doubt that Mr. Michael Roberts would never take offense at what I'm about to say because I've already told him. You can see that he's had a huge, huge, huge influence in Rachel's career. I said to Michael, I said, she's even starting to look like him in a race. Just a little taller, of course. Well done to the whole team here. That was a fabulous ride and it was a fabulous finish. Golden Grove, the ideal world is one and Madukulawane is the gentleman that looks after Golden Grove. He gets a thousand rand on behalf of Hollywood Bets and on behalf of Gold Circle. Madukulawane, well done. Congratulations to you and enjoy the money. Well done. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's get Rachel in for the second time today. It's nice to get excited. It's nice to have fun. Uh, I did back the second horse, by the way, to, but that's fine. That's not a problem. The thrill of watching the two of you fight out the finish, changing sticks and heads down, and that's what gets us excited, and it's, it's just wonderful. Well done. A good race and a good ride. And listening to Michael, he's been on your case about this race for a long time. Thank you. Yes, I haven't heard the end of it. Um, <laughs> it's been every day I open the book, have a look, and tell me exactly what to do. We've got the same again with Ray Drink. I'm glad I could follow all the instructions and that it paid off. 
I mean, are you setting yourself goals now? I mean, are you just cracking on? You're traveling as much as you can. Tell us what's going through your mind. What's, what can we look forward to? What more can we look forward to? As much as I can do. Every winner is a blessing, um, and I love everyone, so hopefully as many as I can. Lovely, Rachel. Well done. Thank you, and I must say a massive thank you to the owners, Mr. Hampson, Mr. Crow, and the other partners. Um, it's uh, uh, lovely to ride another one in their colors. Uh, thank you to Mr. Roberts again for all the support um, and to the Academy. Lovely, Rachel. All the best for the rest of the day. Thank you. Two out of two for Rachel Vinica. Come on, Michael, let's get you in. And as I said, yeah, you put in a lot of work and a lot of time, you and your staff and your stable into, into Rachel and to a lot of the other apprentices. And a bit of a laugh with you. I said she's even starting to look like you in a race, but well, you must be exceptionally proud. Yeah, of course. You know, uh, you know what gives me so great satisfaction is that, you know, things we discuss, you know, she, she's, she's exercising out on the track there, you know. This race, we had 3.4 lengths to find on, on, on the one horse and the five horse on their last appearance. But, you know, I said to her, we can find it, uh, you know, no, uh, we, the race didn't plan out for us last time as, as we planned it to be. Uh, she was forced a bit wide. But uh, drawn better, and I, I, the plan was, listen here, lead if we can, I don't mind, but um, ideally one will go, and one went, you know, and that set the race up for us nicely, because, you know, that gave us something to aim at, and uh, come the straight, I mean, you know, what else can I say, you know, she wrote a lovely finish, she's strong, she's getting stronger and stronger, as you can see. And uh, a brilliant ride. I mean, you know, anybody denies that there's something wrong with him, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, you know, a big thank you to Tommy Crow. Uh, Russell Hampton is here. You know, whenever he comes, you know, when we call him, you know, they seem to arrive. And uh, to some of the older bread doors. Michael, well done. Uh, rest of your card and uh, chances. The stable's firing up, Michael, which is fantastic. Uh, yes, um, my, uh, my horse in the fourth race, um, uh, seventh song, if he gets away on terms, because, you know, he, you know, he can be a bit uh, you know, quirky in the gates, I think he's a runner. Thanks for your feedback and all the best. Long may the hits keep coming for you and the whole Barrington team. Thank you. Russell's here, absolutely. Let's chat to Russell. How wonderful to have Russell on course, and he owns this, as I said, with Tommy Crow, Brett Chubb, uh, the Dobbins, and of course Sean O'Sullivan. Well done, Russell. That yeah. must have got the the heart pumping. What yeah, a finish! Certainly, yeah. I mean, Rachel was fantastic again after the win in the first race, and then this one. Um, Michael was confident the whole time, so well done to him. Uh, we certainly weren't as confident as him, but he's proved even us wrong. So what a great win! Thank you. You know, she's lightly raced in the sense that she's today was her eighth start and she's won now and she's won a gutsy race and it shows that she's she's got that will to that that will to win that want to win so that bodes well for the future it was very good to see that um warren yeah so so we're very happy with that and yeah let's uh, hope she can carry on from here please convey our appreciation thanks to all your partners and of course to you for your support of horse racing we wish you all the best thanks and thanks to all of you as well and uh, again well done to Michael and to Rachel and spot thanks to Gold Circle thank you lovely uh, thank you Russell spot on oh, there we go they got masks on but let me tell you there's a big smile on those faces big big smile and yep Golden Grove has won and won a gutsy race. This horse, tell my fortune, keep an eye on her. She won't be in the maidens for too much longer. She's a gorgeous filly, and her winning's turn is near. Two, six, one, and five, those are the numbers that you're going to need. Race two at Hollywood Betts Gravel.